Hi, everybody. This is Bob Iaccino from Path Trading Partners, along with my ever-present co-founder, Mike Arnold. It is August 12th, Saturday, early evening, late afternoon, early evening. We wanted to do a general cryptocurrency update for you covering Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, NXT, and NEO, not necessarily in that order. They all had some pretty big moves, especially Bitcoin and Litecoin. So we wanted to cover the whole group in one video. This is a long video, so I'm not going to make this intro very long. However, what I wanted to tell you guys was we got a couple of emails, more than one email, for people asking us about the type of platforms and the type of exchanges we recommend in terms of you trading cryptocurrencies. So we're going to do an entire video on that, but we're also going to do in that same video, it could even be a series of videos. We haven't decided yet. We're going to address what you guys should avoid in terms of the world of cryptocurrencies because there's a lot going on now in the world of cryptocurrencies that completely destroyed the FX markets for the retail trader. And we don't want to see that happen in cryptos as well. We're not going to be able to stop it from coming into your email box but we're going to do an all-encompassing video on all that stuff to talk to you about how trading cryptos is just like traditional trading, which is why we decided to start doing these videos. But I've said enough about that already. Let me turn it over to Mike to let you know what he's seeing on these bunch of crypto charts. Mike, it's all yours. Thank you very much, Bob. Super big educational crypto update coming to you right now. Bitcoin US dollar continues its very strong push higher see we came off the rotation zone here found some support at the key trend line and then continue to push higher we're going to be watching at some point for a pullback to the rotation zone on the four hour uh, chart again has not happened recently we are getting a bit extended so keep that in mind we'll also take a look at the daily and the one hour for the bigger perspective Continue pushes higher. If we get above this 3970, our next major target is 4061. You will probably find some minor resistance coming in at 4000. People love to target these whole numbers. So don't be surprised if you see a push up to 4000 and then a slight pause or pullback. Then our new levels higher 4061, 4062, 4108, and then 4153. If we do pull back, especially if we get below this about 37.86, you can watch for a pullback to this 8 EMA, the top of our rotation zone right now coming in at 37.16, but this will continue to rise. It's helpful if you put these on your own charts, then you can follow along. You can see how when it does go, we can even dip slightly below the rotation zone, but that is a key area we'll be targeting along with the GAN levels. The 37.5% gain level is 36.94, so right around that 3,700. And on a bigger pullback, we'd be watching for 36.02, but that'll probably take massive waves, a uh, number of waves to go down. This is very strong. If we look at the one hour, here's your one hour chart. One hour chart, you can see how it's riding the upper end of the rotation zone on the one hour chart. So if we continue these strong pushes, if you're an aggressive trader, you're gonna be watching these for these pullbacks into the top of the rotation zones. Then you can take advantage of them by doing stuff like this. I'll just, we'll just give you a quick example. Let's say we draw a trend line down here, something like this. You know, we can extend it and then you get a move back of it, that triggers your entry to get back in, and then you can use these GAN levels or FIB level projections uh, to target things higher like we do. Again, sideways move, letting the eight catch up, pushing up above there, you target the next key levels higher. This came down, hitting the eight once, hitting the eight twice, is looking a bit toppy up here. There are some sellers to come in. So again, watch for a retest of these most recent highs in the $4,000 uh, mark first on the daily. Again, to keep things in perspective. You can see how extended we are getting from the eight. We got extended before it moved sideways for a couple days, let the eight sort of catch up and now it's making a push higher. At some point, we either move sideways again or get that bigger pullback and reconnect with the eight EMA. So that's where we keep 
targeting our next levels higher. We peel some off, we put some back on lower, and we keep the process until we get the bigger pullback. Once we start getting the bigger pullback, we use a bit of patience and then target these key levels on the bigger pullback. Switching over to Ethereum, you can also see that catching on the rotation zone multiple times up here. This is again a four hour chart, pushing higher, getting beyond the most recent swing highs, poking up a couple times. This 319 level, just short of our 320, 32068 level. So that's very key. Some sellers are coming in here. So if we continue to push higher, we're watching for that 32068, followed by 32553, and then 32950. Again, we're watching the hold on the rotation zone and this trend line higher. If we do get a break below this trend line, watch for a test of this rising 21 area. And then if that's slightly uh, violated, you have right around the 298 to 300 area will be key support in that. Just checking in on the daily on that one. You can see how extended this is also getting from the 8 EMA, so don't be surprised at some point to see the bigger pullback. We'll wait for that to happen, but the first level we'll be watching for is about that 298, and then if that's violated, the right around the 281 on a bigger pullback if we don't push these new highs yet. All right, here's IOTA US dollar. And you can see how powerful these rotations on are. It's something you should put on your own charts. Again, this is the 8 EMA and the 21 EMA coming down multiple times, catching on it, dipping in there, catching on it, and rotating higher. Have yet to get beyond the most recent swing high. We hit this 70.29 mark, which was a key GAN projection, 65.5% GAN projection, or retrace, actually GAN retracement projection from this key low to this key high projected from here. The full target for that eventually would be this 82 level. We have some inter interim targets. Should we get above this most recent swing high of 71.77? The next interim targets are 75.04, then 78.32. If we do pull back, have some decent support coming into the $63 mark, and then you're going to want to watch the lower end of the rotation zone. Right now, it's at 60.51. There's also very key market support coming in about this 6103 level on a pullback so that's what we'll be watching for looking at the daily on this one also you can see how extended it is getting from the eight it just pretty much had a one day pause at some point we will get a larger pause or pull back to let the rotation zone on the daily catch up so don't be surprised when that happens Here's Litecoin, US dollar. Again, not acting strong. You see it came out of the rotation zone, moved sideways. And if you watch our rotation zone video, now these moving averages are straight in the middle. This is a consolidation. If we do continue to have lower, we're watching for support right around this 46 to 46, 13 area. If that is broken, we'll be watching for support and possible reversal patterns coming in at 45, 48. And if that level's broken, we could possibly trade all the way down to 44, 94 to about 45, 18. I'll show you what that looks like on the daily chart. In order for us to get bullish again, we have to really get a close above this 47.64 level then we'll be targeting the 48.22 first key area then the 49 level but we need a close above that before we're going to get somewhat aggressive with litecoin again you can see here on the daily chart how we're just at the upper end of the rotation zone but this could easily pull back down to that uh, 44.90 and still be in the rotation zone on the daily chart don't be shocked if that happens. It's still a bullish move higher, and we'll watch for a reversal pattern then down here should we get to that level before we get that key close above the 47.64. So that's our game plan. If it continues lower, we're watching for reversal patterns down here somewhere to enter back in, or if it gets back above this key high, that's what we're looking for on Litecoin. Looking at some NEO. Now, this is NEO on a 60-minute chart. In some consolidation here, 
we're in a horizontal channel we had a potential double top over here that now is invalid and never triggered because we never got the close below the base and we wait for the close below the base we don't just wait for a break of that base because many times it's a fake out pattern then a lot of traders enter on a break of a base we wait for the close how are we looking at this now again very key support right around this 31 dollar mark if that is broken, we get a close below this horizontal channel. You see this black line here. Then we will target the key areas of 2775, 2611, or 24, essentially 50, and look for reversal patterns down there to enter back long. If we do get above this uh, pivot point right here, the defining point on our trend line, 3570, especially on a closing basis, We'll be then looking for a target back around this 3750 area and then back to the 3898 to 39 levels are our next key things higher. You can see on our prior GAM projection, it did run up, poked above it a couple times, which we can now pull off and then moved into this consolidation pattern. NXT US dollar pair. We are not bullish on this right now. It's trading on the 240 minute against the rotation zone. We had a defining point on our trend line into this clear path move. Series of similar colored candles with no support or resistance in the way. Trading down here, we expect this to still continue lower right now, trading at the 200 period simple moving average. You can see it entered here, came up into the rotation zone which now gives selling opportunities or targets for long trades. So these are aggressive targets. This is not where you want to want to go for extended targets. If it gets into this rotation zone and you do have longs on, you want to be taking it off, then looking to add back on lower. So if we continue down below this 200 period moving average, next level we'll be watching for possible reversals uh, 0.1111. Then we have a rising trend line coming in right now about 0.1090 or the 11, 0.11. And then we have some major support also coming in about this 0.1075 area. So those are the next things we'll be watching to. If it does get through all there, then very significant support right around this 0.0981 to uh, 0.0989 area right down here. So those are extended areas we could watch then for reversal patterns. What are reversal patterns? It can make a horizontal channel and then move back above that horizontal channel. It could make a double bottoming pattern and then trigger that. Or it could make a, uh, some. there's some trend line plays that are reversal patterns also. That's how we're looking at it. Just switching over to the daily chart on this. You can see the Rotation zone is hooking over, so this is also a bearish sign. And this is in a clear path move on the daily, which had, could have a full target to this 0 0.0995 area. So we could see possible trade back down to that. Don't be surprised if we do. That's all we have for you on this extended crypto educational update. Turning it back over to you, Bob. Thank you for that, Mike. And thank you guys for watching. Again, watch for a couple of videos, most likely this week covering the types of exchanges we'd like to see you use, the brokers we'd like to see you use, and a couple of other issues that are starting to raise their ugly head in the cryptocurrency markets and will be specific, will all be specific when we do that video. So cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe, and we will talk to you in the next Path Chat. Cheers, everyone.